Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to the Daily Digestion channel and welcome to a coffee talk video. But uh, so this video is on um, veganism. So what we're going to be talking about today is veganism and um, my response to um, all the animosity that is out there um, towards carnivores and veganisms, vegans. And I really, you know, don't know why there has to be this like hatred. Like once people decide to leave veganism that all vegans are stupid and they were so dumb for being a vegan and why did they do that? I mean, that's ridiculous. Because number one, I'm so thankful that I was a vegan. Um, because I learned more about my body from going on the vegan diet. Just like I learned about uh, doing when I did the OMOD diet. Or when I did my 21 day raw food challenge. Or when I decided to go on a juice fast. I mean, when you utilize these diets you learn about your body but they do not need the point here is the diet does not need to become the forefront of your life it doesn't need to rule your body and your life a diet is a tool and veganism is different we all know that that it's more of a sacrifice that people are sacrificing for the animals and that's why they do this and for me ethically it helped save me because I needed something to believe in um, I needed something else uh, because it was at a, a dark time in my life when I was going through a lot of issues um, Hey guys, I'm back now, but I would just like to say that now that I'm a ex-vegan convict, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but I literally felt like that after watching Freely's video. Um, you know, it was like, that's not how we are going to win people back to veganism if they decide to try going off that diet. You know, the shame game doesn't work. I have three kids. I personally know from my own experience that just pushes people away from the community and it makes them never want to go back. I mean, um, in some cases, shame may work, but in a case like this, trust me, it's not gonna work. But anyway, um, we have to do things for our own selves and when it really comes down to it guys if we don't take care of our bodies we can't take care of the animals that's just reality we can't take care of our planet we can't take care of our kids we can't take care of the community guys we are the community and the youtube um but the community of youtube um, we, I feel that my channel, the reason that I made my channel was to help people. That was the whole purpose. And, um, if I feel like that I have to hide things on my channel because of other YouTubers that are going to make me feel bad or look bad or whatever, that's not really what the purpose of our channels need to be um, because number one the only way we are going to learn is by trial and error so say for instance I start eating eggs again which I have clearly done I've told you in my videos I've started eating eggs again and the energy that I got from the eggs I when I ate them I was like this is good my body needs it I knew from the taste of the eggs that my body needed it um, clearly and so I've been eating them I've had so much energy I have felt satisfied from eating the eggs um, I researched on how to do it first on the best way to eat an egg and the best way according to Dr. Berg to eat an egg 
is to eat an egg with the white part um, cooked and the yellow part raw, which that's the way I like them. And um, so that's the best way to get the most nutrition out of the egg and not just to eat the yolk, not just to eat the white part or to eat it raw, but to eat it, like I said, over easy. Um, so I've eaten eggs, I feel amazing, I've had tons of energy, but I've also been consuming a lot of wheatgrass in the process. So I'm like, okay, is it the wheatgrass, is it the eggs? I know when I went on the wheatgrass that I had tons of energy, like I felt amazing. Um, my skin started to improve. I could not believe how my skin started to improve. It quit breaking out. Um, I, my, it was not dry anymore. My skin was kind of scaring me. Um, and I attribute that to the vegan diet of not getting enough nutrients. Even though I was eating and juicing and doing all of the things that I was supposed to do, taking vitamins, um, my skin was kind of scary. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Okay guys, I'm back. So if we're so concerned about, you know, shaming other people, I think it's really going to take away from the value of our own channels. Um, so I hope that I don't deviate in that direction because I really feel like you attract more flies with honey than with vinegar, you know, the old saying. So that being said, um, my goal and my mission of my channel is to find and the whole driven purpose of my channel is to share my healing journey of my digestion on YouTube so that others can learn from my experience because I've learned so much from other people's experiences on YouTube. Um, like, seriously, I really don't know what I would do if I had not found YouTube. But that being said, I have learned from my own mistakes that not everybody on YouTube is transparent with their diets. Um, some of these what I eat in a day videos are ridiculous. Um, you know, the amount of foods that people eat and they consume in one day is just ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> If you've got digestion of still and you're just sitting around eating and going to the bathroom, that's great. You know, that might work for you. Uh, or a day of eating, just a day of eating. But, I mean, you know, those days are far and few between. In reality, we have to work out, uh, go to work, do errands. Uh, run a family, run children, run a husband, I mean, go to work, you know, those things are realistic. Pay bills, you know, try to start hobbies, uh, exercise. And one of the greatest things that I learned from OMOD, for example, is that my workouts are 10 times better on an empty stomach. I mean, you, when you eat before you work out, especially on a vegan diet, you stress your body out and you usually bloat right afterwards. And you're like, that's not healthy to work out with a bloated stomach. And I'm sorry, it's not. It's bad for your intestines. It's bad for your colon. It's bad for your organs. It's just not the way to go. Um, but... Back to veganism, and I don't mean to keep going off track here, um, but my goal and my 
one of my resolutions is to be as completely transparent as possible. Um, I really just don't feel like you're going to have passion for your channel and for others if you're not being honest. I mean, that's the reality. So honesty, number one, is key. Number two, wisdom. Seeking wisdom, sharing wisdom, and letting wisdom be the goal because, you know, that's critical. And I even wrote some of these things down when I was listening to God's Word this morning. Um, wisdom needs to be our target. Uh, and the community, the reason for the community is to share. Uh, and then I have a painting uh, that I painted a while back of a big tree. And this was years ago that I painted this, but it was painted after the parable of the mustard seed. And I'm going to put it on the very front of this video. I'm going to take a picture of it and use it as the cover of this video. Um, <clears throat> but the point of the tree um, and the parable of the tree and the mustard seed, it's, it's like the mustard seed is the tiniest of all of the seeds. It's the like tiniest seed, but when planted, it grows to be this really big tree that's compared to the kingdom of God. And in this tree, all the birds find uh, rest in this tree. And they're able to come and perch in this tree, in the branches. Now, if a big hawk came to the tree and like scared everybody off and devoured them or whatever but that's not what this parable is saying it's saying that this in this tree everybody comes to this tree and they're able to perch in its branches and they compare that to the kingdom of god and that's what i like to think about youtube youtube being the kingdom of god where all of the uh, birds can come and perch in the tree and learn the knowledge of God and the wisdom of God and learn from each other. So um, I hope this video inspires you. I hope it encourages you to be honest. Um, I have found so much encouragement from these other YouTubers that have been honest on their channels. And, you know, that's how we learn vegetable please uh bonnie rebecca i didn't even know who she was until she came out with this video and then uh you know freely came out with the res I, I feel like that was a response to even though she didn't say it on her channel it was clearly um a response to bonnie rebecca's um video and all of the other youtubers that are coming out and you know, I understand why Freely is frustrated. I mean, she's put a lot of hard work for the last, what, 10 years she's been on YouTube? I mean, her whole life is dedicated to veganism. I, I understand her frustration, but, you know, we can't throw the baby out with bathwater. You know, we have to accept and respect people's decisions for their bodies um, and I don't mean you know we need to go out here and slaughter animals in these horrible slaughter houses that's going on I mean you know we need to try to eat as cruelty free um, <laughs> Man. so we really need to try to um, partake when we do eat meat we should be eating grass-fed or organic or non-GMO or those type of cruelty-free um, types of choices. Uh, you know, when we do have to partake of doing that. And nobody wants to kill an animal. I mean, let's be real. We all know that if we had to go out here and slaughter our own an animals or gather our own eggs or all that stuff. It's not that desirable. 
I mean, it's not something you want to do. And thank God we don't have to do that. I know people who raise chickens and they have to wash poop off of the eggs. Because, you know, it's not, it's not, you know, a very glamorous situation. But, that being said, back to, you know, cruelty-free and all that for all that stuff. That's what veganism represents, for those of you who don't know. Um, you know, veganism is about uh, saving the animals. It's about helping the animals that are being tortured. And, um... There's lots of, it's about saving the planet. It's about, you know, there's a lot to it. There's so many documentaries on it. <clears throat> and uh, I'm not going to go into all that. But, um, you know, a lot of people are struggling. They're struggling with their bodies and their digestion. And um, just trying to find what to eat. And so many people are going plant-based now. It's like in a lot of the health and fitness magazines. Um, I'm shocked. Um, in this magazine right here, I bought this, Women's Health. I never buy magazines, but I was like, okay, I'm going mainstream. I'm going to try to go mainstream. I'm sick of, like, not being mainstream. I want to know what the latest research is. I want to know what's going on. So I bought this magazine. Okay, here it is. Uh, California Walnuts. California Walnuts. Um, for the best plant-based nutrition. Okay. Uh, for the best plant-based recipes ever, California walnuts are a simple way to bring flavor, texture, and health. So, uh, basically, you know, they're advertising walnuts. So, it's like hop on the bandwagon. Once again, it's not promoting veganism. It's pl promoting plant-based and this uh, company that's selling walnuts. So, there again, guys, we have to really think here. You know, all these crazy recipes that are on here, they're probably um, not so great for your digestion. Um, it's a fact that carbs and protein don't go together um, as far as um, in uh, food combining and the way the digestion system works. Oh, just like a lot of people eat um, potatoes and meat together and those two things don't food combine that well. So. Um, and that is one of the things about veganism I think that impressed me so much when I went on the veganism diet was it appealed to all of the sides of health and nutrition of food combining and everything that goes along with it. You know, it's, it's the healthiest. I mean, they really appeal to people as it being the most healthiest diet. <clears throat> but um, the most healthiest diet is what you can eat and what your body can absorb and what you can digest and what you can get your hands on in the most least stressful manner. Let's be real. I mean, there is a fine line between food and being able to survive. I mean, you know, a lot of, a lot of things out in nature have to kill in order to live and it's not pretty um it's not pretty but as far as these businesses that are ethically like really being cruel to these animals and torturing them and so forth you know that's the horse of a different color so we have to put all that into perspective and we have to respect um these people who are um, promoting veganism and um, carnivore diet, um, I, I can appreciate it and I can respect it. Um, so I hope this video encourages you to broaden your horizons and accept that, um, you know, that we're gonna be able to catch more flies with honey and, um, you know, it's not about uh, pushing people away, but I do want to leave on this note 
that. Um, you know, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, you know, look at these people who are promoting these diets. And are they uploading videos that are recent of their bodies? Of, like, showing, you know, pictures of their bodies or them working out, you know? Like, or, like, are these pictures that they have on their pages, are they, like, pictures from 10 years ago where they looked voluptuous and healthy before they even actually became vegan? Or when they first became vegan? Because when I first went on the vegan diet, it really did help me a lot. Like, I was healthy, I felt good, I looked good, but, um, you know, but then it was like my body started to deteriorate. And I felt like that I was scrambling around trying to, um, like, working really hard to try to get the nutrition that I needed. And I think it's going to be like that for any diet that you're on. It's not going to be easy. We're always going to be struggling with the toxins in our environment and <laughs> I just saw you walking through there. It's just funny. I'll have to admit that out. But with the tox I can't see you now, so it's fine. But with the toxins in our environment <laughs> with the toxins in our environment, it's going to be a constant struggle. I mean, so clearly we're being sprayed upon in the sky with uh, tons of heavy metals that are floating down in the atmosphere that's getting on the food, it's getting on the animals. I mean, that's about as cruel as you can get, uh, you know, as far as that goes. And nobody is really making a big deal about that, and we really should be. But um, nobody is. Nobody is making a big deal about the chemical spraying that's going on. And everyone just acts like it's not happening. <clears throat> just like they do about the cruelty that's going on in the slaughterhouses. Um, so, you know, people have to deal with what they have to deal with. There's no doubt about it. You can only do so much, especially when you're raising children, you're raising family. I mean, you know, you're basically living from hand to mouth, trying to do the best you can. And all we can do is try to promote the next generation to not make the same mistakes that we have made. And, um, and do the best that we can do. So I hope this video helps you. I hope this encourages you on your, um, your health journey of trying to find the best way to digest your food. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. And um, I hope I got my message across. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And if you want to see more content um, <clears throat> about uh, veganism and um, vegan digestion anymore. or um, plant-based diets, you know, or anything, whatever you want to hear about, let me know. Leave uh, questions down in the description box. Uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like the video. Or, um, and... I will see you in the next video. Peace.